Hey guys, it's Amy Astro here, and this week I am going to tell you why I suck as being a YouTuber. Well, apparently that's what my husband tells me, and um, I'm going to pause for a moment and let you guys go ahead and hit like below, and uh, cheer me up a little bit, and leave me some positive comments also while you're at it, because truly, he told me I sucked. So, um, why? Why would he say something like that to me? Well, I'll tell you why. Why? Because I am about as impatient as a five-year-old on Christmas morning when it comes to opening up packages. I promised I would do an unboxing video for you guys. I promised a manufacturer I would do an unboxing video. But here's what happened. This is my story and let me tell you all about it. So a little over two months ago, a manufacturer reached out to me and asked me if I would like to try their new camera. Well, I looked at the specs, my jaw dropped, I started to drool, and I was like, heck yeah, send it on. So here I am, QHY sends me a brand new camera to try on loan. I don't get to keep it unless I want to pay for it, and that's always an option. But it took a couple months for them to get through their Chinese New Year and everything to send it to me. And then when I finally get the tracking of it, it says it's out for delivery and it was going to be delivered last Friday. So imagine me, totally excited here. I set up the camera, I get everything ready for the box. And then the time starts ticking on and on and on and the box doesn't arrive. And then I see it says it's out for delivery in San Francisco. Wait, I'm not in San Francisco. What is it doing over there when I'm over here? So, disappointed, I break everything down and go to bed. Well, over the next week, week and a half, I watch this box go throughout the United States and gets almost to me and then goes back to the Midwest and it sits there for a while and now I'm contacting the company saying, I'm really scared it's got the wrong address. What's going on? Well, it turns out it makes it almost to me and the customs agent says, whoa, something's not done on it. We got to send it back through customs check. And then it comes back to me. Okay, so in this process, it said it was out for delivery three times. So two of those three times, I set the camera up. I'm ready to go. Well, again, disappointed. So the third time, I'm not going to be, thir you know, tripped up by that one again. And plus, it's like nine o'clock at night. It's bedtime. It's a weeknight. I have to go to work. So I give up. It's not going to show up tonight. No big deal. Put my pajamas on and click, turn off the lights. And you know what? Ding dong. Oh my gosh. The doorbell rings. I get excited again. Yes, I run to the door in my pajamas and there's DHL waving to me as they take off. Well, look down. There is this nice box from QHY. QHY. But wait, I'm in my pajamas. It's about 9, 9.30 at night. I have to go to work. Do you think I'm going to get dressed and set up the camera again to make an unboxing video? Well, you know, again, I said I was like a five-year-old on Christmas morning. No, I opened the box. And this is why I suck as being a YouTuber. All right? But don't worry, I only cracked the outer seal of the box just enough so I can make sure it was really inside the box. So this video, we are going to show you everything that came in that box that I waited so impatiently for. All right, guys, so here I am with the box just slightly opened, okay? So I don't totally suck at all. This is going to be an unboxing video because this box has not even been out of the outer shipping container. But check this out. Huge box. Huge, huge, huge. In fact, this is the biggest camera box I have ever seen. You know, typically I use the ZWOs or the Altair Astros, and they're not really large boxes. In fact, they're kind of true to the size of the camera. So what does this box tell me? Is this camera really this huge? I don't know, but let's find out. So here we are with the new QHY camera. It is the Mono QHY. It is the 268 Mono. 
cooled version camera. I mean, this is like everything I wanted. And it has the APS-C sensor in it. So let's go ahead and open this. I mean, this is like Christmas morning. All this really needs is Christmas wrapping paper on it and it would be just perfect. Ooh, that's some squeaky paper there. So let's wrangle this stuff off. And you see, I don't really suck into YouTube because obviously I couldn't get this back on to show you. And um, QHY, you're not getting this part back. I'm sorry. But I did promise that I would send this back and I would test run it through all the paces for about the next six months. All right, so I am not getting paid for this. I did not pay for this. Um, just let me be perfectly clear. But any thoughts and opinions are going to be truly my own because they didn't give me any instructions. So I'm not going to lie. If I love it, I will tell you I love it. If I don't love it, I will tell you that I don't love it. But I totally anticipate I'm going to love this thing. All right, so open it up. We get the standard instructions, filter, how to hook everything up. Now, they already knew I had a filter wheel, and I'm going to do something that is probably a little bit different than some folks. I will be attaching this to a ZWO filter wheel and the Optolong filters with what I have, unless somebody else is generous and decides to send me something else. But here is our camera. Beautiful little touch here. Ribbons. I do like that. But these ribbons, they have an ulterior motive, not besides just looking really cool. But they're going to help me jimmy this out of the space here come on Ooh. it's in there tight and being in there tight is a very good thing it means it's not going to get jostled around while it's in shipping all right so yellow ribbon yellow camera and let's see this is really a beefy looking camera here i'm loving the color scheme black red reminds me of the joe uh the georgia bulldogs go dogs yeah, um, no, <laughs> don't, don't let me fool you. I am totally not into football. But Georgia is all about black and red. So, and since my Raven scope is all black and red, this will pair perfectly with this, okay? It's a USB 3 cold moss camera, mono, okay? Now, we've got the USB 3 port on the back, and we have our 12 volt um, power on here. And it's got another port here for their filter wheel. So I'll be curious to know how this is gonna work with my ZWO filter wheel because it requires USB 2 and right now it is wired USB 2 from the filter wheel direct to the camera. This doesn't have any extra USB ports on it like I'm accustomed to. So that now means I need to add another cable to my rig that's longer than, let's say that. Now let's see, this, I'm probably not gonna open this up all the way out here because this is um, pollen season for us. In fact, the yellow pine trees are going to town. But the end of it, it twists off. It's nice and sturdy. I don't wanna get any dust on this, so forgive me, you'll see it in the future. But again, this is the QHY268 mono color cool camera. Very nice. All right, so let's set that down here. What else do we have in this box? There has to be more, there's always more. Is there more? Dun, dun, dun. Oh my word. Oh my word. Inside this box is a whole bunch of little boxes. Now I'm imagining all these boxes are going to be power adapters, um, connection adapters, so I can get everything plugged in. Um, the boxes are not labeled, so this is going to be truly a guesswork to what everything is for. We've got screws. We've got a, it looks like a two inch adapter. Oh, and um, we've got the ever, the desiccant little capsule here but we should not have any problem with dew because this one does have a dew heater built into it which is really kind of cool so that's one little box boy this unboxing video is like a whole bunch of boxes inside of boxes this looks like a power brick in fact that's what it is it's a power brick to power this up little 12 volt power brick very nice but I should be able to power this straight from my Pegasus Ultimate Power Box. So that's great. This guy can stay in the box. I don't anticipate needing him at all. But it's very nice that they included it because you know what? ZWO does not include their power bricks. In fact, they charge you extra for it. And you know what? They are always out of stock. So it's nice not to have to think about it. Everything's included inside the box. All right. 
Now we've got other little power adapters, USB 3 cables in here. I'm just going to keep these all organized because you know what this afternoon is? That's me trying to hook everything up and hoping, hoping I don't have to go buy anything to make this work with my gear. Sometimes happens when folks send me things that turns into uh, costing me money. All right, there's the power cord for that brick. And we got one more box in here. One more mystery box. What's in here? All right, this has a plethora of adapters. Your, uh, wow, a bunch of adapters. So that's, that's really great and handy to have. Um, three millimeter, five millimeter. So this should help me get all my back focus in order. And a lot of screws. I'm not used to seeing screws with all these adapters, but maybe these aren't thread-ons. No, they're, they've got threads, but I'll be curious to check all this out and I'll let you know how everything comes together in a future video when I hope that we get out under the stars and using it for the first time. So folks, this is my fancy unboxing video, all right? Look forward to future videos where I'm gonna get underneath the stars, show you what this thing can produce. I'm gonna team this up on the Raven scope for any of those of you who follow me, unless somebody wants to send me another scope. But <clears throat> it's gonna go on an Explore Scientific 102 with the FCD 100 glass. It'll be teamed up with the uh, Moonlight Nightcrawler and the ZWO filter wheel and the Optolong filters kind of a mixed bag of things. But when you think about it, when you buy stuff, do you buy all manufacturer specific or do you try different things from different manufacturers and make them all work together so you get the best of everything? Because one manufacturer might be great at cameras, not so good at scopes or vice versa. You, you know, you just never know. But this is the QHY and I can't wait to see you guys in future videos. So if you like these kind of videos, please consider subscribing. I need your subscriptions. We are just over the 4,000 subscriber bubble, heading towards 5,000. I'm hoping we accomplish that in the next month or two. Um, really, really hoping. So please subscribe, send this to all your friends because you know what, when I hit 5,000, when I hit 5,000, it's gonna depend on you. I am going to have something very special for you. I don't know what yet, but I am talking to lots of different folks and I've got lots of different ideas, but I promise you, 5,000, we're gonna have a special giveaway, so stay tuned, okay? So guys, till the next video, I'm wishing you guys some great health, clear skies, and I will see y'all real soon. Love y'all, goodbye.